Hello my friends and uh, welcome back to my channel. We back in uh, Lviv, Ukraine and uh, today I'll uh, we will speak about my brothers Oleg and Vasil and we're gonna go through one particular aspect of our relationships so uh, one more time follow my friends and welcome back to my channel you probably aware that ukrainian people are unique and special and they particular let's look uh, for uh, as an example at my brother Vasil Popek, who is a priest, is a priest in Lapayuka, Lviv, Ukraine. So, my friends, small disclaimer: disclaimer, my video uh, videos are hacked. Russian and Ukrainian speaking are changing pattern of speech, so to promote some the Owen agendas so follow my, follow my channel pay attention to the message so when i lived in america for about 20 plus years uh, at that time my brothers who stayed behind developed very unique values very different uh, from mine uh, like on the topics as democracy, Christian values, human laws, we develop very different uh, views and ideas. So back in the US, I was sending to my brothers, mom, dad, money, so huge amount of money I sent it out, sent out to Ukraine about $20,000. I was using Western Union, so there are proof of my statements that I did send out from United States for a period over 20 years, more than $20,000, probably even more than that, which can be proved through Western Union. And uh, uh, when I came to Ukraine shortly after, before the uh, COVID, suddenly my brother, was uh, giving me some type of uh, little cash for unknown to me reasons. And uh, I went to the bank and uh, they put it all together from bank as pri pri private, private bank, private, bank ukraine they put it uh, all together and it's the amount my brother popik vasil transferred to my account over this period of time 2.5 years amounted to in hryvnia in ukrainian currency to 14,900 in ukrainian currency but in dollars it equals to 372 dollars as of August 2022. So as of August 22, for a period of 2.5 years, my brother Vasil Papik sent out to my account $372. Not, not even penny more. Also, he probably gave uh, in uh, cash or in some kind of clothes, whatever, about the same amount. So, because in Ukraine, same amount. So in Ukraine, it's uh, unbelievably cheap to buy a jacket, winter ja jacket. You need like 30, 40 bucks, dollars. So it costs $300 more in cash. So, so total amount he gave me it's about 700 while i transferred to ukraine from united states of america 20000 
dollars. So you see the difference, $700 and $20,000. And here is actually this document in Ukraine. When you can see this number here in Ukrainian currency, in dollars, it's around $400. So for a period of time, as you can see here, in uh, European 0106-2020 to 0908-2022, from uh, my brother, Papek Vassil, I received $400 in the United States currency. And here is a document with the same document with the bank, uh, head of the bank, seal, and uh, here is a, you can see the bank location, um, central office, headquarters on the, on the header of this document. So one more time, uh, I received from my brother for a period of time, 2.5 years, no, not more that, than $400 transferred to my account plus uh, cash, about same amount, 300 And just want to make small disclaimer, disclaimer, I have not received directly or indirectly none of the money from any foreign governments, including the United States of America, no Ukrainian government, no money whatsoever. Maybe the money was given to my brothers, to my brother's family, to my aunts, aunts, uncles, but me personally, I haven't received no money either from my relatives or except those given to me by this brother and uh, the other brother supposed to uh, transfer some money to me, but I, when I venture to my bank and try to check it out, bank shows there are no transfers from no other brothers, brother, but my brother, Papik Vassil. So there are no foreign investments, no monies, no anything was given to me by, by none of the banks none of the country. So if money was uh, somewhere uh, anywhere around me, they definitely didn't reach me. So my friend, and uh, so I had difficult time, time here to receive uh, my property to exercise my property rights. So since I inherited part of uh, house on Povetriana uh, apartment on Povetriana 65, apartment 49, and a house in the village of Stulatici in Viv region, but it's, uh, everything is done so uh, I cannot inherit my part, my brothers, uh, an obstacle for exercising my constitutional right in Ukraine and getting my property to me one way or the other. So my friends, don't forget to follow me on my channel and I see you for my next uh, classes. And uh, if you remember, my tooth, to my teeth was taken out without my permission. So uh, to scary, intermediate or to to manipulate me and to make me be tracked when I come back to America or if I will exit from Ukraine Ukrainian authorities authorities trying or it's maybe it's organized crime trying to make sure that they can track me when I am gonna be abroad so my liberties my freedoms my uh, constitutional rights, either in America or in Ukraine or in Europe, are seriously violated. In Ukraine, p police doing everything. Uh, they are doing everything so not to investigate or they um, directly or indirectly intimidate by bringing out the notion of uh, mental institution 
scaring people from uh, filing for the rightly rightly complaints by bringing up uh, different type of scares, either jail or mental institution or whatever. So my friends, follow me on my channel, subscribe and uh, defend United States Constitution if you are an, uh, an American. So God bless United States of America and Americans. You can freely travel by hiking, hiking all over the United States for months, years, year, years, if you want to. If you want to cross by hiking United States of America, north to south, south to north, east to west, west to east, you always can do it. It's your constitutional rights, right? Freely move in United States of America if you are an American citizen. So God bless United States of America, and I see you for see you or see you all for my next videos.